What is up guys, I've just dropped the missus in the Matterland. I'm gonna pop in the Matterland or Matterland. Do you speak any English? Matterland, Matter. Anyway, I just dropped her in there. Uh, I'm gonna pop in a couple of to the uh, charity shops on the trade and estate, uh, see what we can find. If I'm looking tired, it's because I'm always tired. <laughs> so let's get into the shop and see what we can find. Yeah, so I didn't pick nothing up in them two spots. Um, they did have a couple of games in um, the first one. They had the family, we family party, I think it's called. Goes for about five, six quid on eBay, free delivery. So after all that, it wouldn't be worth flipping. Uh, alien game worth nothing. They had a ton of PSP, like Championship Football Manager, FIFA. Again, I don't think there's any value. There is no value in the FIFAs. I don't know about the football managers. I've never looked them up. But I didn't see see anything worth picking up in there. The second shop I went into, they don't keep their games out. So I asked the woman behind the counter, because last time they had tons. And she said, there's nothing new. She said, it's the same stuff I saw last time. So she didn't even get them out for me. Never mind, you can't win all the time. This is what, you know, 99% of the time you don't pick anything up. So, yeah, uh, you know, it is what it is. And uh, now I'm back at Matterland waiting for the, for the missus. Yo, so I've uh, stopped down Morriston High Street to check out the uh, charity shops on my lunch break, see if they've got anything in, in new to uh, to add to the collection or to resell possibly. Uh, there's some dude just staring at me. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, right, so let's, uh, let's go have a look.
right guys so no luck in them charity shops but i did pop into this shop at the end of the high street it's called deli corner it's not a deli it's just a shop full of everyone's old crap basically what but he did have some stuff in there and he actually gave me these uh this little stack of psp and umd videos for a fiver right i was taking a risk on it because you know they might not be in the best nick but i got liberty city stories going for about eight quid on cex vice city stories going for about tenner on cex Midnight Club about £3.50 and the Mega Drive Collection also going for about 8 quid on CEX so I'm definitely in the profit there I'll probably sell them on eBay I think because I'm not really collecting the PSP also got Pro Evo worth absolutely nothing and a couple of UMDs Alvin and the Chipmunks and Ben 10 also worth probably nothing but not a bad little find considering I wasn't even going to go in there um, I've got to go back to work now so I'll see you later Several days later Yo guys, so I'm on my lunch break again from work and I've stopped by Clam Samlet uh, Recycle Center to their treasure shop. This place has been pretty good to me in the past. I found consoles, I found games, I found toys, DVDs. Um, so I hope it is today. I'll probably just jinx myself, but let's get inside because I haven't got long. <laughs> Yeah, guys, so I did jinx myself in there. There were no games in there, really, except for the ones you saw, which are the crappy ones that have been there since the beginning of time that nobody wants. Um, I did pick a few things up. This is a bit of an odd pickup. Hopefully, I can flip some of this stuff on eBay for a little bit of money. Um, I picked up some VHS. I picked up some X-Files VHS. This one, the last listing I saw on eBay, went for about a tenner plus uh, postage, so I'll probably stick it on for about the same. Probably be a bit of a slow seller, but I'll stick it on eBay. Same, I picked up a box set, again, the X-Files. This is a two uh, VHS box set. I couldn't find any listings to this one, but I'll probably stick it on for about the same, see if anyone makes me any offers on this one. I also picked up a History Channel Ancient Mysteries 5 DVD box set. The last one of this sold on eBay for about seven quid, so I'll stick it on eBay most probably. I don't have any use for it, so yeah, that's where it will go. And the last thing, the most exciting thing for me anyway, watch me lose any sort of following that I do have, Never ending story, tales from the never ending story. I'm absolutely buzzing with this one. I do love the never ending story and I'm always looking to pick it up. It does need a new case, so I will have to look into getting that. Now I paid a pound for all of that and I should see a little bit of profit. And uh, I've got to go back to work now, so I'll catch you in a bit. Bye. Right, guys, so we're back in the games room. Gonna take a look at what we picked up this week. A bit of a random collection, but let's have a look. So this is everything we got this week, a proper random bunch of things, but uh, most of it I'm going to try and resell. I am very much a newbie to reselling, so I'm not sure how it's all going to go, but let's take a closer look and break it all down. So the first outing this week, I picked up these PSP games and these two UMD videos. Now, they're not in the best condition, and what I've done is I've stuck these two on eBay uh, in used condition, this one for about 6 or seven pound, I can't remember, and this one for about four or five pound. Um, if I sell the pair, I'll get my money back and a little bit, so it's not too bad. Now this is worth three pound, not worth selling. This is worth nothing. And this one, uh, GTA Liberty City Stories. Now if I, I'm gonna hold on to this now, maybe I'll come across the uh, box and then I can sell this one as well. Um, these two I uh, just hold on to for now and maybe bundle up with a PSP in the future if if that ever comes uh, comes about. Uh, the second visit, now I didn't get any footage of this one because it was proper random, but uh, I picked up this Blockbusters reruns game. It's brand new from Audi for two quid. Now the last copy on eBay sold for eight pound uh, plus postage, so I'm going to try my luck also. And these two, these three here, Brambley Hedge, brand new sealed. 
for proper random. I paid 60p for all of them. Now this one right here, the last copy of this, sold for £15. Brand new, £15. That's mad, that is. Now, now granted, it sold quite a while ago, and these will probably be really slow um, sellers, but for a 60 pence investment, I'm quite happy to stick them on eBay for about 10 to 15 each. And, you know, if they sell, they sell, and if they don't, I mean, 60p is nothing. And over here, the last pickup was these two X-File VHS. Now, the last one of these sold for eight quid, uh, eight or nine quid on eBay, so I've stuck that on for the same. And this I've stuck on for eight, tenner, I think, or a best offer on the both. So if someone makes me an offer on them, again, I think they'll be quite slow sellers. And then this random Ancient Mysteries box set, I've stuck on eBay for a fiver plus postage. I mean, I paid, what did I pay? 30p 40p for these three so you know the investment is so minor that i'm happy for all this stuff to sort of sit on ebay for as long as it needs to and maybe someone will buy them so guys that's what we picked up this week a proper random bunch of things now all of it is pretty much for resale like i said earlier i'm very new to resale um so if you guys have any advice please stick it in the comments below i really want to learn really want to get better at this um it will be nice to recoup some of the money i'm spending on the collection get a bit of it back maybe make it sort of pay for itself in a way um but yeah guys if you've enjoyed this video please give us a thumbs up subscribe if you like the content and we'll see you in the next one peace